everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> it's Alma welcome back to the kitchen here is the deal I love my fathead pizza how about you guys have you tried it if you haven't you need to try it now I love it and the traditional recipe is made with one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese two ounces of cream cheese and then it uses three quarters of a cup of almond flour well guys I am starting to believe that perhaps the almond flour irritates me a little bit. If you know anything about Crohn's disease, which I have, um, nuts are not friendly with the tummy and the intestinal tract. Anyway, I thought to myself, you know what? Let me go ahead and see how I like it made with pork rinds, pork rind dust specifically. So what I've done is I'm, I'm trading out equal amounts. So I'm using exactly uh, three quarters cup of pork rind dust. I also added a little bit of dill in here and some um, hot chili peppers, all right? Again, it's three quarters of a cup, so it's an equal um, substitution for the almond flour. And then your one egg. I actually like it better. I think it mixes better with two egg whites. However, I don't like wasting eggs. I don't have any egg whites here at the house. Um, and using the whole egg actually gives you more of the fat as well as the protein. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna put this mixture in our microwave for approximately one minute and 22 seconds on full power. You know, you know your microwave, so just kind of watch it and see. You don't want it burning, but you do want it very pliable. All right, let's go ahead and get started. If you are new into your keto journey, you may want to um, steer away from some of the flowers. However, this would allow you to kind of stick with your macros because you're gonna have obviously more of the fat content than you would if you were using almond flour. Okay, so you can see that the center of it it's still a little bit um, stringy, but once you mix it, you'll know if it's warm enough to go ahead and melt the entire mixture, which this is. I love that. See what it looks like, guys? Very pliable, it's not stringy. If it's stringy, you need to put it back in the microwave for a few seconds. All right, so from here, what you're gonna do is add in your pork rinds, oh my gosh never done this before so I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit at a time just so it doesn't get real clumpy you see how that looks guys a little bit more actually I'm just gonna add it all I will give you at the very end of the video the macros for the traditional fathead pizza dough versus this pork rind fathead dough all right so let me get this mixed up might have to get my hands in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my sleeves ready to go here. A little warm in there. And with your dough, this is honestly how I do it. I just keep on mixing and folding until I feel like it's got a great mix and consistency to the dough. This is gonna work, guys. You know what, I, I just kinda decided to try this and I never actually Googled. I don't think I'm creating anything new. There's not a lot of new on keto. So let me know, do you like pork rinds? I love pork rinds. Just remember, don't eat the flavored ones. The flavored ones are going to um, have maltodextrin in them, typically. And a lot of MSG, monosodium glutamate, and that can also sometimes spike your blood sugar. If you hear the little feet in the background, that's Mr. Boo Dog. All right, so I'm gonna consider this done. I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Start recording and Billy's gonna have a drink of water. Got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I have my pre-cut parchment paper on my pizza, on my pan, my pizza pan. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get it formed. If you find that your hands are sticking to your dough, go ahead and use your water. Get it moist. That'll help you reduce the stickiness to your dough. How were your holidays, guys? I've missed y'all. Life has been hectic. Again, I am gonna probably do a video. It just kinda tells you where I've been. 
I have remained keto this entire time. I think you probably get a little more volume when you're using the flour. But volume really isn't going to matter if your tummy is not happy, right? And crowns is not always a fun thing to deal with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer this. And then, got, and then you can go ahead and just pat it in the areas that are exposed or open. Go ahead and pat that. All right, next you want to go ahead and poke so there's no bubbles when you cook it. I had my oven preheating at 400 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven for about 12 minutes. And hopefully it will be good to go. All right, guys, so while we let our pizza dough cool off a little bit to make it a little bit more manageable, let's go ahead and talk about the remaining ingredients. Now, I found this recipe on Barefoot Contessa on the Food Network, and I thought, what a great idea to use as a fathead morning pizza, brunch, heck, any time of the day, actually. So here is the balance of the ingredients. We are going to be using our smoked um, salmon. I actually purchased this from um, Aldi's and it's 10.6 ounces right at $10.99. A really good buy guys. So you're going to use salmon. You're going to use as your pizza sauce mascarpone cheese. The mascarpone cheese actually has a higher fat content. Um, it has the same amount of protein however it does have zero carbs. So Yay, yay, yay on the mascarpone. You can use cream cheese if you want. This is just a better option of getting more fat content in to your meal. So does the salmon help you with that? As well as the pork rind. So there you go. Then some chives. And if you like, you can use a little bit of capers. And then we will top it with a nice little salad with a vinaigrette on top. All right, guys. Be back after the dough is ready. All right, guys, so here is the second pizza. Now, I did this one for 10 minutes versus the 12 minutes just to see if there'd be a difference. And there is a slight difference. It's not um, as crispy on the edges. So, you know, use it your preference. 10 to 12 minutes based on uh, maybe your oven, on the rack that you have it on, etc. Now, you will want to let this cool off. If you don't, you're going to have a melted um, mess on your hand. Uh, so you're better off letting it cool off a little bit and this is when you're going to go ahead and add your mascarpone to it and uh, again I saw this recipe on Barefoot, uh, Barefoot Contessa on the Food Network and I thought what a great 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 meal this would be for brunch or lunch um, or anything so I can't give you a comparison of the other pizza because David got home and ate it. I know. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? David eat something? I know, right? Now, the, my, the macros on this are going to be really amazing in regards to your fat content, guys. The mascarpone typically has a little bit more fat than traditional cream cheese does. If you only have cream cheese in your house, use it and um, let me know what the macros look like. So... If you want to be really precise, you could put your pizza on the scale and then add in your mascarpone and then you could find out exactly how much it weighs. Still have product left. So this is probably about three um, ounces. The next part of the recipe is I'm using three and a half ounces of my smoked salmon that I got from Aldi's. And the recipe calls for you to simply put ribbons of your salmon on your pizza. Now I would say this one feeds two, but based on macros guys, this would be a little over 1200 calories if you're doing an OMAD. So this and the topping of the salad would actually be a great OMAD for you. You could actually drizzle it with um, some extra olive oil to add more fat if you need that versus the protein. And you can choose to do as little or as much of the salmon as you prefer because you know it does have um, great omegas in it for the fat content and it will have obviously protein. So depending on where your protein count is for the day, you may want to use little or more. Just make sure you're hitting your macros. All right, now we're gonna finish up our pizza. We've got the salmon going on. It's been a while, so if you see that it's dried on the little edges, I apologize. All right, so what I have here is some baby arugula and baby spinach, and this is already pre-washed. You can pick any type of lettuce greens that you like. 
and you're just gonna put a little bit on top. I actually probably would have really preferred just straight arugula. If you've never tasted arugula, you need to try it. It's got a nice pepper little flavor to it. You could actually make a vinaigrette or any type of dressing that you'd like to go on top of it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. I am going to add a little bit of chives. I'm gonna add some capers. And this is why I'm saying it'd be great for a little brunch. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of some olive oil. This one is actually chili and garlic, and I got this from Aldi's a while back. Just sprinkle some on. You're adding some more fat content there. And lastly, I'm adding everything but the bagel. This is from Trader Joe's. It is amazing. Just sprinkling it on top. And voila, guys, you're good to go. Let me know if you would try this, what modifications you'd make to it. All right, everybody. You haven't seen this face in a while. <laughs> it's David. Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. <laughs> so, all right. So, what I didn't tell you guys earlier is feel free to take a little bit of lime or lemon and squeeze that on top of your little salad. And that will be the final step to your little creation. So, David. <laughs> Go ahead and squeeze it. I'm waiting for instructions. <laughs> squeeze it. Squeeze a lot? Not a lot, just a little bit. Across it. Say when. When. You really mean say when. <laughs> okay. And then I cut that into fours. Again, I think this is a pizza that would be um, good for uh, two people. So it'd be a two serving pizza. And uh, let's try it, David. <laughs> They're really small people. <laughs> you and your portions. <laughs> yeah. You and your portions. Well, I don't know who made your portion. <laughs> I thought this would be great for brunch. Huh. Breakfast, brunch. Mmm. 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 <laughs> it's really interesting, isn't it? I can't see that that smoked salmon. Yeah. I wasn't sure what it was, but now I know. Yeah. I actually thought it was that stuff that you put on sushi. <laughs> That's gonna be weird looking. <laughs> so I was a little bit I was a little bit shocked when I put it in my mouth and it's didn't, good. Didn't quite have that twang that yeah. I was looking for. Pretty good though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I saw it on TV, something similar, and I was like, I can do that. You can make it keto. And it actually gives you quite a bit of fat and very little carbs and a good amount of uh, protein. So kind of a OMAD of sorts. Well, I guess you like it. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. Mm. All right, we'll see you soon, guys. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onido. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.